Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss well-defined problems in artificial intelligence using vacuum world example. A problem in artificial intelligence is defined using six components. They are states, initial state, actions, transition model, goal test, and path cost. Each of these components uh, we will discuss using a vacuum world example. In vacuum world example, uh, there are two locations are given that is location A and location B and there is a AI based vacuum cleaner. The location A or B can be either dirty or clean and this uh, AI based vacuum cleaner can be present in either location A or location B here. Now, uh, we need some set of uh, actions that is uh, this AI based vacuum cleaner can move from location A to location B that is it can go in this direction that is known as right action. When it is present in location B, it can go to left that is known as the left action here. And whenever it senses there is a dirt in a particular room, it will suck that particular dirt here. So that is another uh, action what uh, this AI based vacuum cleaner will perform. So, this is how the vacuum world example looks like. Now, what we do is we will define this problem formally with the help of six components here. So, the first component in this case is what? The states. The state is determined by what? It is determined by the location in which the AI based vacuum cleaner is present. That is, either it can be present in location A or location B. The second one is uh, the status of these locations, whether the location is dirty or clean. So, these are the two things uh, with which the state is determined. Now, there are two locations are there. That is, uh, AI based vacuum cleaner can be present in either A or B. So, that is the reason 2 multiplied by each of these locations can be in either two states that is dirty or clean. That is 2 here raised to 2 that is number of locations this is equal to 8 here. The meaning of this one is this problem can be present in any of the 8 states. I will list out each of these states later. Let us assume that we have n number of locations or we can say that the environment is large here. In that case, uh, the number of states is determined using this equation. That is the number of uh, locations. In this case, it is n. Each of these locations can be in uh, one of the state like uh, dirty or clean. So, that is the reason 2 raised to n is the number of locations here. So, once you solve it, you will get the total number of states over here. Now, uh, we will try to list out all uh, 8 possible states in which uh, this uh, vacuum world example can be present. So, the first one can be something like this. The This AI agent can be present in location A and both location A and location B may be dirty. So, this is how we can list out the first uh, state here. The second state can be something like this. The A agent is present in location A. The location A is clean and B is dirty. So, that may be the another possibility. The third possible case is uh, the A agent is present in location A. A. Location A is dirty and location B is clean in that case. So, that is another possibility. Fourth one is it is present in location A. Both A and B are clean here. So, that is the fourth possibility. Similarly, we will get another four possibilities that is uh, a agent is present in location B, both A and B are dirty. It is present in location B, A is clean but B is dirty. The A agent is present in location B, A is dirty and B is clean. It is present in location B and both A and B are clean here. So, what is the goal of this particular problem? The goal of this uh, vacuum world problem is to get both the rooms clean or both the locations should be clean here. So, either we should achieve this fourth state or we should achieve this eighth state in this case. So, totally we have eight states. Out of that, uh, this fourth one or eighth one is the goal state in this case. Now, the next component of uh, well defined problem is the initial state. Any one of these states will be considered as the initial state. From there onwards, we want to apply some set of actions so that either we will go with this uh, state four or state eight. Now, as I said earlier, the initial state is any state is designated as an initial state from where we want to uh, start solving the problem here. The next component of a well defined problem is the set of actions. Uh, each state has three actions in this case. That is, uh, whenever AI agent senses uh, there is a, a dirt in a particular room, it will 
execute a suck action so that the room will become clean. So there is a need of a suck action over here. And second action is whenever A agent want to move from location A to location B, it has to perform something known as the right action. Whenever it is present in location B, it can perform a left action and it can come to left side of this uh, uh, location or you can say location A in this case. So in this case, we need three actions, uh, left, right and suck or actions in this case. Now coming back to the next one or the next component of a well-defined problem that is known as the transition model. What is transition model is? The transition model is a representation where we apply all possible ac actions to a given state and when we apply all possible actions, we will move to some different uh, states here. So that is what is represented with the help of a transition model. So here I will show one uh, part of that uh, transition model. I will discuss the complete uh, transition model of a vacuum world example in the next video. So in this case, uh, let's assume that we are present in this uh, particular state. When we are present in this state, that is uh, the vacuum cleaner is present in location A. Both the locations are dirty here. Now what all actions we can perform? There are three actions are there. Left action, right action and suck action. So there are three actions are there. So whenever we perform left action at this particular state, what happens is, as AI agent is already present in location A, we cannot move from location A to left here. So, the state will remain same here. Whenever we perform an action right, this AI agent will move from location A to location B. This is how the state will look like. And whenever suck action is executed, the dirtiness of this location A is, will be sucked and this is how the new state will look like. The location A is clean, location B is dirty and A agent is present in location A here. Similarly, we have to apply each and every action to each of these particular states so that we will get the complete transition model that I will discuss in the next video. The next component of well-defined problem is goal test. So whenever we apply an action, we will go to next state. So what we need to do here, we need to test whether this is a goal state. So what is the goal state in our vacuum world example? Both the locations should be clean here. So whenever we apply right action, this is how the state will look like. Whether it is a goal state? No, it is not a goal state because in this case, both A and B are dirty here. Similarly, whenever we apply left, it remains in the same state. Whether it is a goal state? Again, it is not a goal state. Similarly, whenever we apply a suck action, this is the new state. This is not a goal state again here. So what we do is whenever we apply an action on a given state, we will check whether the new state is a goal or not with the help of goal test here. Now coming back to the last component that is known as the path cost. So in this case, uh, each step cost is uh, having one as the value here. That is whenever we perform an action, let's assume that you are present in this particular state and you perform right action. The meaning is what? The path cost is equal to one for moving from this state to this state here. So what is path cost in this case is from the given initial state, how many number of actions we have performed to go to the goal state. So what is the goal state here? Goal state is both the squares or the both the locations should be clean here. So let's assume that uh, we have applied some three actions. The meaning of this one is the total path cost is equal to three here. If you apply four actions to move from initial state to goal state, the total path cost in this case will be equal to 4 here. So this is how we can define a vacuum world example uh, properly in artificial intelligence. In the next video, I will discuss uh, how can we draw the transition model for vacuum world example. I will place the link for that video in the description below. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.